But this doesn't mean live, does it? It does mean live. It does mean Oh, okay. I don't know. It does mean, mean live. It does mean live. It does. It does. Nuh uh. Does. 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 Mm mm. Does nope. mean live. Does you doing any more half a full marathons? Does. Does, does mean live. Hmm? Does. Does. Wait, what means live? Does. Mean, does mean live means live? Means live. Lie? Live. Lie? I think that's a. Is it a soap? It's a, an ingredient in soap, I think. Ooh, what if I have lye? Can I wash my hands with just lye? Like 100% lye? No, then I'd call you a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 That's a little fun for me. <laughs> hey, it's Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. What's Mike? Mike's in the chat. Mike, help us hey. out here. Mike. Mike, our friend? <laughs> Fuck him, he's never on. Does he ever want to come on? No. Wow. That hurts. <laughs> no, he just doesn't. Wait, is uh... it you who doesn't want him on, or is it think him who about doesn't it, want him on? Think about it as you, why you don't want to, you don't want the attention uh, uh, when it comes to eating hot wings. Oh, he doesn't want the attention? You just said meow. Okay. Well, too bad. No, he, he got the attention. Totally, you got me, Shane. You just, uh, <laughs> I mean, you nailed it right on the head there when you when you put it into that perspective for me. He also doesn't want to do karaoke, and nope. uh, that's fine. it. Those are the no two point. things. <laughs> that's fine. I'd rather watch people do karaoke or get super drunk where someone makes me do it. There you go. Wait, would you? Mm. Uh, I guess I'll I'll never say never. Oh. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Just like you wanted me to throw up from alcohol. How'd you like that challenge? <laughs> well, how did I like it? Challenge well, accepted. Fair enough. Hey, everybody, I, I just drove Tony here. He's never thrown up from alcohol. He's that, driving, I'm driving him home. That's not how that went. <laughs> Something like, of course, how do I know how it went? I blacked out. Told, I told I'm, one person and that turned Yeah, it was into, Amy who worked there. No, well, two shots of the knot or knob or whatever it was. I don't remember. After different that. person working there at the time, but it was Amy. She what? was working there. Eric joined now. Amy and maybe Screamer was. I don't know. Screamer was there. I don't know if he was working though. He has. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. What was that back in oh eleven? Could be. You know, I was working at the airport. That's what I know. Sounds about right. All right. What do you think, Tony? Oh, I don't know. Are your gauges all green, red, yellow? i just thinking you're like, all right, everything's holding steady. All right, let's do it. Holding steady, holding steady. Slow mm -hmm. and steady wins the race. Or uh, it's, um, you know, one of them's, you know, redlining, and then you're like, oh, my God, why is it redlining? Oh, my dock sucks. I need to replace it. Or, you know, we don't have whatever Wi-Fi or whatever you're talking about. Right. I know. Right? Right? <laughs> oh, is it a sore subject? All right. Is we'll, anybody, we'll move on. Is, uh, hey, Eric, is uh, anybody doing... I wonder if other people are watching this Egyptian thing. I, I don't even... I don't think I have this channel anyway, so, you know... Probably not for me. What, what, why is it a big thing? Why are we bringing? Because it's the up? first. <laughs> yeah, I'll just draw people's attention to it instead of watching us. Uh, yeah, you guys don't watch us. It's the you first. Can watch us later. We're doing a podcast. It's on demand. It's the first time they're ever doing this on live TV. Supposedly, what is this? Any so uncovering an Egyptian <clears throat> something, or maybe it's the first time. I'm gonna look this up. Mm -hmm. Well, you looked up Josh Gates before. I'll look him up and I'll find out that. Josh. Let's look in the news, I suppose. Gates, Egyptian. Uh, we'll be live, live tonight opening a 3,000 year old sarcophagus. 3, Josh Gates will open 3,000 year old sarcophagus to see what's inside, or at least he'll be there as, as one is opened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Josh Gates will be live from Egypt tonight, opening a 3,000-year-old sarcophagus. 
And do you know any? Uh, like aren't there explode. usually like curses to the first person who opens it up, and they cool. all die? Or am I just thinking? <laughs> Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, or no? Well, Last Crusade. Yeah, yeah no, every that is Raiders. Egyptian movie ever. But go on. That's true. Also spoke with confidence. <laughs> "Quote: It's a three thousand year old sarcophagus that we believe has not been opened, mm. and is unmolested by time or robbers." <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure they opened it last week just to make sure, and now they're doing the full reveal. They had a soft like. Soft open up last week, and now they got opening. here's the you soft know launch. just to make sure nothing bad yeah. would happen. No. This is also the same guy that went to some island of dolls and like one of the dolls' eyes opened as he was watching it, which Ooh. makes me skeptical a little bit. But I don't anyway, know. the it's Expedition Unknown Egypt Live, which is broadcast 8 p.m. ET and 5 p.m. PT on the Discovery Channel, Travel Channel, and Science <laughs> Channel. Ooh, Discovery! I know, right? Um, so kind of a lot of channels going on, but. I don't know, that sounds like cable, and I don't have that. They got channels now? Yeah. Channels. Oh, cause... Eric's hosting a watch party. Is he hosting for us? I think he might be. Let's find out. Well, I'll find out in a second. First, I'm going to share this. What do you mean a watch That would explain party? why suddenly there's people watching. <laughs> people watching what? The, the thing? I'm sure there's uh, people watching. What? <laughs> five people. They're watching the live event? The only five? No, ours. Oh, why would Our they watch us? They can watch this Egyptian thing right <laughs> now. Tony, it's night on the Egyptian pay, or however you say that. Well, you brought it up. I didn't know anything about Egyptian this. Egyptian pay? PA? I don't know what this watch party thing. I don't really get it, but I, I well, appreciate it. Well, that's what we're it. doing with Game of Thrones next week. Isn't that a watch party? Yeah, but it's a Facebook thing, the watch party. Oh, I guess this is above my pay grade. I get it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> How do I do this share thing? How do I do this share? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, share into my timeline. Okay, now we're good. Now we got all the shares out of the way. All the shares. And you're not redlining with your resources on your MacBook Pro? No, I'm not. That's good. You know what? You can just... <laughs> Oh, I, I got that again. issue mostly resolved, okay, for future reference. Good, good. Oh, howdy, fellas. Howdy, fellas, Eric said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, he's saying this in his own in his watch party. Apparently, I should keep that open as Can well. you watch more than one thing in a watch party? Is uh, he watching us and this uh, Discovery thing? I don't think so. Well, I, I don't know. know. I don't know if he knew about it. How come oh. I can't pause it on here, though? That's weird. I oh. can't watch what he's watching on his little watch party? He's like, howdy, fellas. <laughs> Are you butters now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee whiz, guys. Are you fellas? <laughs> Just you guys. That's right. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for hosting the watch party. I appreciate it. I don't oh, know. wait. The oh, watch wait. party's about us? I, I thought it was something Eric was doing separately. Look at me. I'm so out of the loop right now. Yeah, you are. I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> in a crotch party right up in here. Oh, I don't know about that. And I wanted to watch the, uh, Mike said the that. PBR thing that uh, that Eric got me on, that commercial with that guy. It's what's good about it. <laughs> That's what's good about it. It's not, it's not, it. it's not good. It's not like drinkable. It's not like drinkable, but that's what is good about that's it. That's what it's good about it. George Washington going down your throat. Is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, I just thought the other day, I'm like, I really gotta watch that. And he's Eric, and he talks about big old bug, big old, big old bug. Oh, the watch party's over? Mm. Oh, well, maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big old bug. It's a watch party. What the frick am I looking at? <laughs> it's a watch This is what happens if you wear Crocs. <laughs> uh, nice. All right. Well, wait, wait, I get it. Are, wait, are Crocs good or bad? I hear people making fun of them all the time. Well, I was just making fun of them to today. Them. Just today, I was making fun of Eric's. <laughs> but, but everyone seems to have them. Like they're good, but but it's okay to make fun of them. Yeah, I don't know. They're like Nickelback. Everybody likes it, but everybody likes <laughs> to make fun of it too. Secretly love them. No, everybody. I, I have the opposite it. opinion. I'm 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 a liker. I've always been a and I enjoy the Nickelback. I've been a liker of Nickelback too. Everyone else can just liker. Just keep on trucking or whatever. I suppose I can't swear right now, right? 
That's right. <laughs> I mean, preferably not. Yeah, you could bleep it out later, but I don't want to give you more work. All right. Well, what do you think? What do you think? Sure. You ready? You sure. We ready? can. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Find Discovery Channel. And just have at it with this. So, <laughs> just watch that instead. <laughs> I, have, no I don't think I have any way of watching it. I don't know. For sure. Huh? I don't think I actually have any way of watching it. I had had our friend Rosie in here briefly. She probably was like, "Oh, that's right, it's on." No, she probably already knows to watch it. I'm sure she's like well, a history buff. Discovery book. Channel. I'm sure they've got some sort of maybe yeah. a thing. something Discovery. Well, now you're gonna it watch is shows full episodes right here for free. Yeah, but not now, not live, right? Or can you? I don't know. What's live now? Expedition is live now. Expedition. Oh, you actually can watch it live? Oh, it says... Oh, yeah, it. there it is. I am watching it live. Oh, well, for crying out loud. I don't know if this is just a thing. The quality looks pretty crappy, but... Shame, knows. but still, oh, the sarcophagus itself... Oh, gosh. A I don't want to broadcast all this. Or do This I? is totally live. They're talking about this sort of sarcophagus. The sarcophagus. This, that... this place looks like a quarry. Oh, man, that is live. All right, well, I'm turning that off now. It'll distract me. But, yeah, it is live. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have it on in the background. Uh... Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, you want to, you know, I think if everybody watches it, they get cursed too. Better not. That's to watch. how it goes. It's like uh, Bird Box uh, spoilers. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that is a spoiler. Not it's really. I mean, not, no, 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 but sort of. This guy looks like Doctor Grant. Hmm. That's true. Can you? I don't know if your your big shooter MacBook Pro can handle all this streaming in and out of. So far, so good. I'll tell there you, you if it doesn't. All right, yeah, we can um we can tackle this now. I don't know, whatever you're thinking. The great or the golden age of Egypt, then you... Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. hear that. I hear that now. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Copyright and content, right? I'm not supposed to... I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Is Harrison Ford in there, too? Did you see him? <laughs> That's Josh Gates. <laughs> no, I mean in the background or whatever. I don't know. In the yeah. background? I was just think he's going to take the treasure. I thought, wait, or as soon as they open it or whatever. That's right. We'll, I don't know if you want me to say LaBeouf will be there, too, but I don't think so. Who, LaBeouf? Oh, yeah. Mud son. Johnson or whatever. Son, right? Mud McJohnson. Right. Sure I don't even know movie. what his character is in that last movie that nobody I, liked. I just said. <laughs> is Really? <laughs> no. Well, his name was though. Mud, I think, but, or it was at least his what? nickname. Then he found out it was actually Mud uh, uh, Jones. <laughs> Jones. Yeah, it's fine. My name is Alan Grant. Alan Grant. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to reveal this dinosaur now. Ooh, how'd you like that? You see like a, you know, a triceratops skeleton in there or something. <laughs> how excited. Well, if we can... Oh, wait, are they opening it now? I don't know if they're just going to do it or what. Or I feel like they got to build up to it, right? Talk about this, how long this is here, this, that, and the other, the different gods that everybody bows down to back then. Um, and then, you know, isn't that the grand finale, which maybe it'll be in an hour? Do your no. Wait, I think they're... Are they opening it? I cannot believe. Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate? They're pulling the mortar back from this. So this is the ancient mortar that would have sealed this burial. Okay. <laughs> right out of the Josh gate. Oh, snap. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. It's happening pretty quick, so I'm just checking it out. All right, now I'm going to go back to it again. And what do we have? And commercial. Right. Or Come you on, get out of the way. And it's so empty. Already no. No, no. And there's a the flow of dollars. can weigh up to a ton, but underneath we can already see clearly. Oh, my word. It's Look a, at this! What is it? I don't know, I'm buffering it's a lady? Now. What? Look, she has a mask. Oh, it's a lady. And she does have a but, mask. But maybe someone came mask. and gave her a bump. <laughs> broke, broke the mask. It looks really small. But oh, wow. Uh, it's, it's Cassiopeia, or not Cassiopeia, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Wait, all right, all right. You mean cornucopia? That's the one. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right, let's. Program, let, right? What do you think? Should we do a podcast? Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Let's go. Part of me wants to see if anybody wants to like chime in on this episode or something, but 
No, it's up to yeah. Well, the watch party you guys are talking about. Who knows what's happening? Well, there's no watch party now. Wait, maybe I maybe, maybe I should actually do the watch party thing. I don't know how that works, but you will. I, You'll figure it out. You maybe do. I will do a watch party. Like with swatches and I Apple watches. And it's timers. a watch party right up in here. How do I do this again? Watch this video with your friend. Start watch party. Can you have a watch party with live? What, we, I always thought you did that. Don't you? Have, don't you? Aren't you throwing this on Facebook too? Sure. I don't really get how the watch party works. I'm not gonna lie. That's fine. Don't do too much, Shane. Your little big big shooter MacBook Pro can't handle it. Big shooter MacBook Pro matchbook. Matchbook. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, what are we talking about today? Uh, which was really Grant's Mac is the backpacks with the two pads. Mm-hmm. I want mm-hmm. backpacks with three mm-hmm. pads. I do. I can invite others. Okay. Okay. Jane's gonna invite others. Cause it's a great do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Enough of this. <laughs> Sorry. Enough, I'm just... enough grab acid. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah. Oh, is this thing still going on? Yeah. Oh, what happened in the video? Did it stop? No. All right, he's just describing it now. I really just wanted to see it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, Oh, yep. Okay, doing this. Make sure this is all working. Okay, it's been a while. All right. Yep, do that. Mm Mm-hmm. Hope it actually records. Okay. 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 All right, and in three... Two, one. On this episode of Techies, home pods go on sale, flower vases are putting out fires, I need more backpack sleeves, and more on wet bags. Yeah, hello everybody, welcome back to Techies, the podcast about simplifying our lives one gadget at a time. This is episode number 91 for Sunday, April 7th, 2019. I am Shane, and I'm joined by Tony. Hello, hello. What's, how are you doing today, Shane? I'm doing quite well, and how about yourself? Pretty good. I'm liking the weather, it's getting warmer. It is getting quite warm. I would, did, I managed to, so I was, <coughs> yesterday I was... I got home and I was like, I might want to run today. I'm like, the weather was like, oh, geez, this is nice. I should run. But then I'm like, but I kind of want to go to a coffee shop or something. And then I, but I'm like, but I got to take advantage of this warm weather. Ah, the struggle is real. So I did go out for a run (laughs) and I barely had any time to stop at a coffee shop. And by the time I ended up going downtown to do so, it was, uh, at that point, I barely had any time and I, I just, basically was able to get a coffee and go and the parking sucked so mm, yeah that'll happen but at least i got to run finally yeah. finally after my week in vegas which was wonderful uh work trip out there but after all that i had huge blisters on the bottom of my feet and running was not really the first thing on my mind Ooh. to do right away so i'm glad i actually got to do that uh yesterday I'm guessing those were from all the walking you did in Vegas? Yeah, it is correct. You are correct, sir. Yes. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't want to run either. But it is nice. So I did run today outside. Mm -hmm. Uh, Happy about that. Trying to do that a little bit more than previous years. I really want to try to get myself out there. And good weather definitely uh, motivates me to get outside. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. But well, is there anything you can talk about with that trip or with uh, Oh, probably. You... I mean, I was out for the Adobe Summit, uh, which is pretty nice. I liked it a lot. Um, had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun out there. Learned, uh, you know, a thing or two. But it was, it man, there was just so much to do, so much going on. And, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, though. <laughs> That's, that's, so it sounds like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> so I'm but, just picturing you just learned a bunch of like updates for Photoshop. 
What else? No, that there? would be uh, <laughs> Adobe Max. Is the is more of that. Uh, it's focused more on the Creative Cloud, and then uh, this one mm-hmm. was more on the um, business side of things. But oh. it was good. It was good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's no, fun. Uh, anyway, what's new with you? Oh, what is new? Um, no, not too much, really. Just, uh, I don't know. Uh, just, I, I know I went to, uh, I don't know how much this company likes to, you know, broadcast stuff online. So I'll just say that I work with, a, we'll say, electronic medical record application, and I just Finally got certified. <laughs> you have to take a couple tests. You have to take pro. You have to do projects. So, um, just been studying on that, and um, yep, got uh, got certified for that, and pretty happy about that. Um, so that took a little bit uh, more of my time than. Um, well, it's it's yeah, fine. It def- definitely imagine. helps. It's good to have that on your resume. So. Sure, sure. Well, congratulations on that. Oh, thank I you. I wasn't aware thank of you. that yet. Sure. Well, I mean, I'm sure you have talked about. It. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, past, but, not, but not too much detail. But I know that, you know, like, you kind of have to be affiliated with a hospital to kind of go and get sort of certified. So as um, far as I know, and maybe there's another way to do it. But, um, yeah, so, uh, but studying, because the tests are pretty crazy. You really have to um, know your stuff. So yeah, um, I, I know back, it, before uh, with different, uh, I suppose, modules, I know, there were some times I had to take a test again, yeah, but um, sure. this time I did pretty well. Pretty I would imagine happy about anything to do with medical anything is yeah. understandably that way. Yeah, this is medical or and software. Well, yeah, just sure. making sure you know your stuff. So yeah, that's primarily. I just wanted to get that uh, taken care of, so I did that. So not nice. too much else, but I'm hoping to kind of get back into some games or something. I don't know. But yeah. We'll see. There you go. Re- rebuy a switch. <laughs> Rebuy and switch. Yeah, we'll see. Ah, I just see an article that they're going to redo. Uh, they're going to come out with maybe two of them. They're going to have a cheaper one and a more expensive one that are supposed to come out. I know E3 is sort of not too far away. I think it's either in May or June. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot's going to be announced then. So we'll see. Sure. See what happens. But uh, I do keep my eye on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, I keep telling, I keep saying um, part of the reason why there's so many different. Uh, or not not different. Why there's so many things that they didn't put into the Switch initially um, was because of basically that very reason for, for why Apple seems to do it is just <clears throat> so they have a reason to have updates in the future for it. That's but, true. And I think they really wanted to keep it portable as well as, well, not portable. And I think you do have to maybe limit some things too when you say yes to being portable. Mm-hmm. Um which is one of the, I think that's one of the big selling points for them is I can take it wherever, I can have friends play it, I can do, you know, a lot of different things with it. So um, whether, uh, you know, you're out and about at a park, I think they kind of have that. Uh, I think I see a screenshot where they kind of have, they have a little stand with it so you can kind of play outside or, you know, if you have a big TV, connect to your TV, you're good to go. So hmm. that's nice. But Yeah, one of the things I really, uh, yeah, I, I wish I could hook my AirPods up to it and having an uh a 1080p display would at least would be nice. Um, oh yeah, you know there's always minor things like I, I doubt we're gonna get anything like a fingerprint scanner, or, you know, that kind of oh. stuff on it. But true, you know, I don't. Yeah. I, I'm sure that's far, pretty far off. But not to say that in the future they wouldn't do something like that. Yeah, you never know. That's right. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Um, that and. I thought maybe the next iteration might make go may go 1080, but I know Nintendo hasn't been known for being hardcore graphics like your Xbox or your PlayStations are, but um, they do make up for it with other things like I know playability. They really do a good job with uh, different games and um, just going a different route to uh, for either the casual gamer or you know you can have hardcore gamers too, but not necessarily the driving force of being you know extreme graphics like hmm. so. But, yeah, I don't know. But then I, I know uh, was it an Apple kind of release. Well, they announced uh, their arcade service. I guess they announced a lot of uh, services. A Which I weeks. still haven't even watched that keynote because I was flying at the time of that. 
Oh yeah, they uh, I, that that seems kind of nice. I know it, it's if you have a phone, if you have a tablet, if you have an Apple TV, it seems like this. I don't know. They really didn't go into too much on like price with a lot of things. I know they kind of talked about a you know their video streaming service too was sort of the big thing, but not really. Um, and that's Apple TV Plus. Yeah, Apple TV God, Plus. It, plus on kinda, everything. Why does everything have to have a plus right now? I don't think they want to make things long. I don't uh, long names that of is. Of course they it? don't. It's just that they've got Disney Plus. They had yeah. uh, PlayStation oh, yeah, Plus. Right. The what? What else do they got right now? They have PlayStation View. I mean, that is what they were. I, I guess they already used Plus for uh, the uh, six six S Plus. Oh so, yeah, that's true. They have used that. Which I, you're Plus right. Too. I don't know, but people are gonna say whatever they want. Like I mean, the whole the phones naming. Convention. I don't know if I like that either. The iPhone. The difference is they're just they're actually using a plus sign rather than. Uh, yes. For the other one, for the phones they were using, uh, the the name spelled out. Yeah, that's yeah, that's something. Yeah. Well, Tony, <laughs> Tony, what uh, what do you got? Are you drinking anything tonight? No, I had water, and now I finished water, so I have nothing. But it's okay. You? Um, got some wine, some water. Water and wine. It's okay though, because I went the week again without drinking. Ooh, look yeah. at you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So Tony? then today is your splurge day. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. This is the Before most you... I've <laughs> really consumed in in a week's time for sure today. But so I guess cheat day more or less. Back on it tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Back on, oh, weekends only, and then back on it. Oh, look at you. All right. Yeah, I tried not to splurge too much today, but yeah. 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 Some. Mm-hmm. 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 Meh. Meh. All right. All right. All right. Well, I suppose. I suppose we can mosey on on to this then. <clears throat> News. Uh, yes, and this article is from Ars Technica, and it's Apple slashes HomePod prices and introduces PowerBeats Pro. And I picked this article just forgetting that they did have an event, and I could have definitely picked something about um, <laughs> that, uh, you know, the something that they announced at the Apple event, but this is fine. Um, anyway, HomePod, smart speaker, and this is kind of Apple's sort of, you know what, I don't know what this is. This is kind of in between you know, like a, a, a really quality speaker as well as maybe some sort of uh, device like an uh, Amazon Echo or uh, Google Home. Um, but anyway, um, started, you know, when it came out, it was 349 and now it's down to 299 And um, I believe the reason behind this is they have had slow sales to begin with. Um, and Understandably. A lot of, what's that? Understandably. Yeah, that's true. Well, just... I think it, I don't know where it fits in the sort of market. Like some people think, oh, I want an automated, you know, person telling me what to do, like with an Echo. And this is like, wow, this one's this much. And, you know, how much is a dot? 30 bucks. And then a little bit bit of a better one, like the Plus, or is it a Plus? The Google, what is it? The Home or Google Home? I'm trying to say Echo. It's hard. Oh. Uh, The Echo, the bigger one, whatever the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was just called the Echo initially. There's the Echo, and then there's the Echo... Oh, wait, the screen one? The one that I have. I don't know. The big cylinder have. one. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it was... I don't know what it's called now. At one point, it was... Yeah, originally, it was just, <laughs> just one Echo, but... Yeah. Well, anyway, it's... Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. The, um... The, that one is, like, $100, $150, I think, um... So, you know, people are kind of like, whoa, this one's 349 I know Apple is kind of more the premium company, but, you know, and they might have better sound. But I think I think people are looking at this thinking they want, you know, that digital assistant versus and some people do want um, something maybe with better music quality. So it's more towards the Sonos. It does or, look like it does look like the plus for the top tier one. OK, so it is the plus. So there's <laughs> another like, plus. Yeah, there you exactly. Go. It's kind of what I was like, really? Is it the plus? We're just talking about everything's the plus now. So yeah. <laughs> thank you for looking that up. Um, mm-hmm. 
So um, yeah, some uh, some other companies, and I, I know Best Buy does a lot with with discounting Apple products. I think they have different like Apple Watch sales going on all the time, like not old ones, but new ones, like the four um, and the three. So they, it's not unheard of for them to, as you know, as well as other um, electronic stores or any other uh, stores that sell the HomePod to put these on sale too. Um, but now uh, it seems like I, I did check Apple Store and this is two ninety nine. Um, and it is a little uncommon for Apple to do something like this in the middle of a product life cycle, but they are doing this. Um, and again, that, that this this first you know had great you know, when this first came out, the, the reviews were really good on the sound quality, and I believe that it would kind of know the dimensions of the room you had it in, and you know try to make it sound better acoustically or or whatever, just to to try to keep that in mind. Um, but then it kind of well, like what I said before, that it got, you know, sort of, I don't want to say bad marks, but we'll say lower marks on, you know, not being a cheaper alternative, uh, like, but like Google Home and, you know, the Amazon Echo definitely did um, kind of have the market by then, too. So in a way, I think they were kind of late to the market with the aspect of the interest uh, in the respect of, you know, a digital assistant. Um, and also Siri is a little... I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of like it for some things, but again, Amazon's been out longer and even Google. And I think they kind of do a better job with some of that stuff for voice assistance. And all right, where, where am I on here? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess that's kind of everything I wanted to say about that. I don't know if you wanted to add anything. That's that you all heard. I had to say about that. That's uh, a, I don't, you any, don't have one. Do is you? there anything? I just, <laughs> No, <laughs> no. To me, three hundred is still too much. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, and what is the um, um? Now I'm blinking on their sort of technology of like HomeKit. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it, where you can kind of turn lights on, turn lights off, um, connected to different things. I know that's supposed to support more, and there that with Siri shortcuts is supposed to kind of do anything. I really haven't used Siri shortcuts or. Um, really know too much about HomeKit, even though I'm sort of an Apple person. I think you're even more of an Apple person than I am, Shane. Um, I don't know if you've used uh, Siri shortcuts at all, or do you know anything about a HomeKit? Little bit. I, a little bit. Once in a while, I find it helpful, at least yeah. on my phone. Like, mm, I think there was something even <laughs> today that popped up on here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, oh, I think it was calling back. You know, that's what I get most of the time is when I miss a call and then I want to call someone back or it, it pops up on there to mm -hmm. call someone back. Although it's a little bit confusing because it, I feel like it, in that case, it doesn't really have anything to do with Siri specifically. But so I'm a little bit confused why they still refer to it as Siri shortcuts there. Oh, yeah. I don't really know. But I just, I've seen the setting in the Siri, uh, like, Series and settings, but I haven't really turned it on or tried anything yet. So. I think I think if I had to guess, it has to do with it because when I think of Siri, I think about its original intent, which was this voice activated thing. Mm -hmm. But I want to say, like every other digital assistant these days, or more specifically, uh, a company's AI technology, because you know, like. Adobe has this Sensei thing now. Obviously, IBM had Watson, has had Watson. And so I, I almost feel like maybe they're treating it that way. Maybe they're just saying, like, overall AI rather than a specifically a digital <coughs> assistant. But don't quote me on that. That's just how I'm kind of looking at it, I'm guessing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, so HomePod, uh, I don't know if I would ever. I mean, if I had enough disposable income that i and i really wanted to try one of these out maybe i feel like it would take because you can get i've seen where you can get two of these things too for like stereo type of thing and that's like way overkill i would think but yeah maybe one of these days one of these days yeah one of these days when it goes down in price i would almost rather have because that was one of the other things they announced was Apple TV on on other devices, right? Uh, yes, and I think is, that's that's part of them trying to go more. I don't want to say more, but service based versus you know hardware based. And 
Uh, I think in order to do that, to really succeed with services, you need to have those on more hardware, not just yours. Right. Um, so that's the Amazon uh, Echo. They're going to, you know, they do an Apple Music. And I know some TVs are going to have the uh, um, Apple, what is it, the, the new server, the TV app. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. But Yeah, it's a little bit confusing. They do have, um, yeah, Apple TV is its own app now. And mm-hmm. so, so I guess what I was getting to with that was I wouldn't, I'd almost prefer at this point to be able to have, and I, I'm not saying this is the case currently or that it will be out the gate, but I'd almost like to have Siri available. And I guess you have this on your Apple TV as it is, just having Siri there. But, like, oh, not I to forget. say that. <laughs> I'd like to have uh, something built into the TV that would be always listening, I guess, is, is really... Because I don't need a separate, you know, speaker unit necessarily for that. Sure, I suppose if you have Apple TV, then you don't need, you know, unless and maybe this happens. You think the HomePod connects to your Apple TV and you can do what you you're saying you want? That I am not aware of. So write us in and let us know if that's the case. That's true. Yeah, that that would be nice. I use uh, this. I don't know if I use the Siri. If anything, it's the dictation part. Like if I'm doing a search in like YouTube or like. Um, whatever the search is in the Apple TV, that's primarily what I do. I don't, I don't really have like the screen of all my icons on the TV, you know, for Apple TV, like on that page. And then I'm like, you know, hey, you know, Siri or whatever. And then, you know, I want to see. <laughs> that's this. the way you get and, around like, having it go off is just be like, I know, hey, I'm, trying uh, to, I'm like, well, hey, I just uh, it, Siri so or whatever. If I made it go off, but yeah, I'm trying to. If I say it, and then it brings up. It usually brings up something that I I don't want to either pay for or I know it's somewhere else because let's say okay Amazon or Amazon um, Netflix isn't kind of integrated into the Apple TV app so anything that's on Netflix won't show up if I just say hey you know the word and um, the show so then I basically like well all right I'm just gonna go into Netflix and then just either search or, you know, see it on the main page. But like I think Hulu is and Amazon is and I know they're probably getting more as time goes on. Um, also, I don't know if Am- or if Netflix is going to be going anytime soon because I think they just took away support for AirPlay on their um, iOS app. Ooh. Yeah, so I, I just, I didn't, yeah, I don't, you know, definitely go find out for yourself, but I did just see the title of an article and but I didn't read it yet. Absolutely. But, definitely did that. <laughs> yeah. I, did, I definitely saw that. So Tony, uh, Adam. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, not to get well too far off, but the other part of this article did talk about, uh, another announcement. I know Apple did have a lot, um, this past week about, you know, the AirPods, well, 2.0, we'll call them, but just another AirPods. Um, and then I think they updated the, uh, iMac and I don't know if there's anything else hardware wise. Um, but anyway, the Power Beats, which again, either Apple owns them or they're in partners together. I don't know the full story on that. Um, but Beats headphones called Power Beats Pro. It's two hundred fifty dollars. It's coming out next month. It's also going to have the uh, H1 Bluetooth chip that supports the, you know, hey, you know, the Siri work wake word. I hope I said that with enough pause. <laughs> um, as well as the new um, AirPods that were announced like two days ago or, or like a week ago or a week and a half, um, that H1 chip. It's going to have nine-hour battery power, nine-hour battery life, um, uh, better noise isolation features, which I suppose the AirPods don't have. Ooh. Uh, again, shipping next month. Uh, sweat and water resistant, which I thought was nice because I don't think the current AirPods have that. Um, but, you know, if you go to the gym a lot or if you're around water, you know, outside rainy or whatever you like that, so... You should take that in mind, so a little bit. Um, and then the other thing is um, they're going to come in colors of black, ivory, moss, which looks like kind of army green, and uh, navy. So, uh, order, order, you know, those will come out next month. So hmm. uh, look around for those. I thought they looked kind of nice. I don't know. They're kind of separate. There's no cord. It's not like the uh, the um, the ones where you kind of have the cord behind your neck. Um, so hmm. I feel like I have to take a quick gander here 
Sure. And also see what's going on with the live uh, mummy opening. <laughs> oh, that's well, right. right now he's well, eating. They just he's, tell everybody that he's eating you know, chicken wings on the street or something. I don't know what's chicken happening. Chicken wings. <laughs> um. Okay, so what do the different colors look like? Power beats gold. Wait, no, they're pro. You said. What? <laughs> what? Here what? we go. Power beats pro. Is there is there gold? Or did you say gold? No, that was some, that was a different product. I think. Okay, I see the colors. Wait, uh, is that one green? It looks more something else. Moss. Moss. Sure, that's what you said. That's what the article said. Okay, I'm trying to find exactly what they look like because they looked a little not green on the. Well, I guess I assume green. Holy cow! What? I'm getting way too many messages right now. <laughs> yeah, moss looks more. It looks more like um, what is this? <laughs> what is I said, this? I said army green, but oh yeah, boy, moss does not invoke. Well, maybe it's just this. Moss I think green. moss might be. I don't want to say a neon green, but maybe a lighter green versus, and maybe just it was a wrong picture or whatever. But the picture I saw was more of a maybe a muted green. I don't know. It it almost looks brown to me. It's like see there you very, go. Yeah, that's why I kind of feel like at least on this TV, there's very little green that I'm seeing in it. But yeah. it could just be could just be this TV. But that's nice. Different color options. It's nice, and you know, Apple only likes to do that with their cheap products. Once again, for whatever reason, cheap product to do what? Yeah, I put out different Make colors. Some colorful. Well, actually, this is more than the AirPods. Oh yeah, AirPods. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if we're gonna compare it to those, but I guess did they release? Uh, so they silently—that's another thing. They they quietly updated AirPods, but they didn't. They still only have white, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shane wants colored AirPods, maybe like orange or something, like a bright orange. Maybe you know, you know me. <laughs> I do. That's why I said orange. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said orange. All right. Well. There you go. Pick those up. Uh, were, the, were those both available right away or not? No, this is a month. Uh, this is a month out. I think I have to put my phone on to do not disturb mode. This is <laughs> getting ridiculous right now. Yeah. My watch keeps, my wrist keeps shouting at me. All right. Yeah. Well, I suppose I can uh, talk about this next thing here. What do you think? Sure. All right. Well, uh, The Verge reports. I know Tony likes to talk about the verge a lot and my <laughs> i got a lot less notes than you got here but this yeah. this samsung flower vase is also a throwable fire extinguisher insert galaxy note 7 joke <laughs> that's literally oh, uh, the subtext of this one uh and so there's a it's actually a subsidiary of samsung called child or c-h-e-i-l i'm gonna go ahead and say child Shile, maybe, worldwide, came up with this flower vase that can put out a fire, which sounds kind of weird up front, but mm -hmm. when smashed, an outer chamber of potassium carbonate, 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 let's say, cools quickly and then suppresses <clears throat> oxygen, which I guess that's, you know, makes sense. That's how you might put out a fire. The inner chamber of this vase also holds water, for um, literally, as as suggested, for holding actual flowers in, so it can be sitting there, just like a, it looks, just like a plain old vase. And so, less than sixty percent of households that are in South Korea own fire extinguishers, despite being mandated in twenty seventeen. Uh, and this was allegedly part of a public campaign to actually. Uh, sort of increase the amount of usage. Mm -hmm. and, but again, even though, even after this, it was still 60% of households uh, own fire extinguishers. But since doing this, now there are actually 200,000 more that are being, uh, more of these fire bases <coughs> that are being produced um, because they had an 8% increase in use since. So I like this idea. I like this because 
it's, you know, once in a while I like to talk about the things that uh, aren't just necessarily about computers or phones and, it, you know, is also what I would consider technology and, you know, safety and, and, and you know, things like that, accessibility, those types of things I like, I like talking about. I like improving people's lives in other ways, you know, and safety, I think, is, is a big, is a good thing to take seriously and, you know, precautions and all that fun stuff. But man, if you well, watch, it's just everywhere. I mean, it's out in the open. You know, you got a vase. You know, you're not looking in some cupboard where you keep a fire extinguisher. Um, it's, it's extremely convenient. You know, if and when you need it, it looks like. And the videos look kind of nice too. Yeah, there. So there is a video. I, is it actually on the verge that they show this video? Because yeah. Okay. I watched. I think I originally watched it on Facebook. But yeah, the video is pretty ridiculous because there's some, and it, some of them are almost questionable. Because some of the, fu- now that I'm looking at this, some of these fires might not even look that realistic. <laughs> well, that may be, yeah, but that may be. But I don't know if they're just trying to make a point with some of these vi- these videos with the fires, or if, um, yeah, one of the fire, know. yeah, because everyone l- looks very like surprised and uh, when it happens. Mm-hmm. Which side Got music know? playing. Apparently, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this video. So the video I originally saw on Facebook, it showed like a huge fire going at one point that someone just it just all goes out instantly somehow. It's it's pretty cool though. Okay, so now now that I'm looking at it though, it's got the inner capsule is actually pretty small compared to the outer one. So you're really not gonna get a lot of water in there for your flowers. <laughs> But having said that, um, you know, it's, it's good. (laughs) It's good. Having said that, maybe they'll make a model in the future that actually does hold more water. That would be, you know, that'd be good. But I like this. I don't know. that, That seems super smart to have. Like, it's not, a you know, I guess having a plain fire extinguisher is good too. Um, yeah, but you're usually not having that out and about. Right. Saying. And this is yeah. aesthetically pleasing while exactly. in theory. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> so more or less, it, to be honest, it kind of looks like a kind of looks like this. <laughs> in a way. <laughs> <A> water <yeah>. jug. <laughs> but it still looks more pleasing than just keeping your fire extinguisher on the table the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Very true. It is It is certainly out of hand here, especially if you've got a fire going on above your sink or something and your fire hydrants or extinguishers below the sink. That would be... It would be good to have this out, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I like it. I Sorry, I can't say that enough, apparently. It's, it's good. Um, it's good stuff. Seems like the smart thing. Although, you know, you're breaking glass in the process, I guess. Wait, did they say it's actually... I mean, I guess they never say that it's actually glass. I don't think. Yeah, I but guess one well, would one would guess if it. R- well, yeah, <laughs> you have a cleanup of a lot m- worse than broken glass. That's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, much safer than burning your whole house down, or you know, worse. So, cool. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. You know what really grinds my gears? Well, what am I complaining about this week? Well, I'll tell you, man, <laughs> I, I tell you what, I had, this happens to be all the time where I'll have an idea, I think I was at bowling last week, and I thought, oh, this would be a great idea, and not so much, because uh, I can't think of it anymore, <laughs> but instead, I'm thinking about my latest thing here, and I just realized, when, when I talked about last week being in Vegas, I meant, I guess I kind of meant the week before, but anyway, um, sorry, <laughs> random thought, but... Anyway, what I'm complaining about this week is uh, backpacks because I'm kind of in the market. I've been looking and looking and looking, and I think I might have one that I'm going to get. But one of the common, my common takeaways is that there just really isn't, and this is just me. Again, admittedly, this is me complaining for my own selfish reasons. But I don't see a lot of backpacks that have two padded sleeves in them because for me, I carry around, you know, my work and my personal laptop. And it's kind of important for me to have two padded sleeves for that reason. Now, 
Again, like I said, there is one on there. I, I asked. There was one on Amazon I noticed, and I, I asked the question, like, is does this have? And and someone came back and they said yes, but I don't. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of padding. Cur- to be frank, the the current one I have that I've talked about on the show before was uh, this Air duffel pack, and it does have a little bit of pen. The 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 second sleeve that's got that's kind of there for I think it was I think it was actually there for tablets. Really, it's a small, it's slightly smaller. But it still fits my, uh, you know, my 2016 MacBook in there. It's got a little bit of padding on the. I mean, it, it it's got the shared padding of the first, the first one, and then and then it's got a little bit of padding on the second sleeve. But yeah, it's it just doesn't seem common at all <laughs> that I guess people walk around with two laptops, or, or they do and they just don't look for a backpack that can handle both of them. I I mean, what do you do you think? Then I'm alone here, Tony. <laughs> I don't think you're alone, but I do think people try to, if they can get away with with caring less, they're going to. So, and, and if they if they can, maybe they'll try to keep one at work or or just keep one at home or whatever, and then just you know, less is more. At least that's my world anyway. I try to, but I know that if you have to, then you're probably yeah, looking for something with two that are padded, but um. Or they carry two backpacks, which I think is even worse. But oh, I, yeah. I think that um, people do that as well. I just think it's it's made my life a lot easier personally, <clears throat> being able to not worry. Like if I can just grab it and go and, and you know know that I have everything I need in there. Because I also, yeah, a lot of these backpacks do have tablet sleeves as well, but I also am carrying a tablet. So most of the time. Do you um, have to carry your work one home every day? Uh, it is preferable i didn't necessarily when i when i first started i didn't do it at all and and now it's kind of like advised or you know what have you but but it's nice like it's nice just in case case of emergencies whatever you know if i need to pick it up um it is good for that you want to call a lot do you need to pick it up uh not i wouldn't say on call per se but there is a possibility where i might need to you know put out a fire or something no pun intended from the last article but Ah, hey, just get your face. Can you get a folder <laughs> for your face? <laughs> just throw it at the um, problem. But yeah, I, I, have, I'm guessing you've searched. I, have you found any that sort I've, of seem to I'm looking to around a your... lot. There, there's one I've got in my cart right now that might do the job. Um, it's pricey. I'm probably going to... Uh, no, I don't think it was too bad, but the, I'm sure that's going to be something in a future XP boost I'll talk about. But yeah, well... We'll see. According to one of the customers that responded to my Amazon question, it was, it does have that second sleeve, but it looks a little bit questionable how well mm-hmm. it's going to do. You know, because part of the issue is, you know, my existing backpack here, it's got this. Oh, yeah. It's got this, uh, well, I don't know, this is kind of awkward, but let's try to get it here. I, I, it got all frayed on the edges, and, and now I've got it duct taped up, and that's, you know, not exactly the uh, most fashionable thing. Oh, can you see that? It's just all yeah. black duct tape I put on it to make it, like, kind of inconspicuous, but yet apparently it stands all like a sore thumb. <laughs> According to people What did you I've have on to, before that? Like, what made you put the duct tape on? Just because, the, like, the edges of the strap just uh, got all frayed, and it was even worse. I, I, I thought it was going to fall apart on me, so... Yeah. That's why I ended up doing that. And, you know... It, Man, if I could just quick look up how long ago we talked about when I got this backpack, you'll have somewhat of an idea as to when. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did a whole thing. So that was episode 69, and that was... Man, do I not have the date here? <laughs> really? We usually always have the date. Uh, I can find it just in the look thing. at the date modified of the... Uh, well, maybe you can't. You I, got I was looking at the RSS feed here. Uh, not Air Raider, but Air Bay. Here we go. Okay, so that was... Okay, I got it here. 27, March March of 2017, apparently. Mm. So that's lasted me a good two years. So now, I guess that's good, maybe? I Money mean, well spent. for using it yeah. around every day, I mean, that's. I feel like that's not bad. But it'd be nice to have something that maybe lasts a little longer. Be good. Um, yeah, so there's one. there's one I'm looking at right now. I'm kind of excited to see what happens with it but 
But uh, let's see here. What else? I mean, uh, was there any other points I wanted to make with this? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, is there a lifetime warranty? Can you take it back? No, oh, I put laptop. I meant to say tablet here. What am I yeah. doing? What's that? Is there a lifetime warranty? Probably not. <laughs> You well, know that's that, why I like Jansport. I know well, we talked about all the other ones, so I did mine. But I know mine doesn't. It sort of has two sleeves, but I think one of them's more padded than the other one. And that's the other thing I didn't mention was, uh, like I talked about on on that episode sixty nine, was that I also want to have my uh, be able to have my gym uh, shoes and gym clothes in there as well. That's also a big part of it, which leads into. Our XP boost, actually, in a second here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Sorry. not gonna I'm not gonna lead in because I was also gonna say <laughs> that air our A E R S F dot com they have the duffel pack two now, right? <laughs> because the first one basically had everything I needed. And now if I go there, the duffel pack yeah. duffel pack two does not have the same compartments, which is kind of annoying. Ooh. And I'm just quick looking on here. They have a separate duffel thing, but that's different. The duffel pack is different than the duffel whatever this is. This one that's just called a duffel. Okay, duffel, duffel pack two, duffel pack two. They literally don't list the original duffel pack on here. Which uh, kind of sucks. Go collection, special projects, work collection, travel collection. Go, okay. So the go collection is that what this Col is? Collection. There's your first mistake. It's not the go collection. It's the work collection. Maybe tech tech pack. What's the tech pack? Ooh, that sounds interesting. Tech pack. You should get what tech Matt got. Ease. When he talked nah, about it. I don't think that's what I need. <laughs> yeah. You need a collection. Yeah. Does it, cut, does it come with pants and a blazer? <laughs> collection. Collection. <laughs> well, I don't need the tech. I need I need the one that does everything. I just need one that does yeah. everything. Is that too much <laughs> to ask? Yeah. A collection. Oh, my is God. They actually do say collection. Travel collection. Maybe a cup holder. I don't want a cup holder. Why am I not? Well, I don't know. I guess it's not part of a collection. <laughs> Let's go. Shoe bag. I can get a separate shoe bag, but sounds terrible. You want less to carry. You want one thing to carry. You don't want more than one. One pack to rule them all. That's right. Unless you can get something where it's just laptops and I don't know, Nintendo Switch and tablets, and then another thing for your workout stuff. I don't know if you'd be into that. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> But I'm looking again at pictures of the <clears throat> duffel pack too, and yeah, it does gym clothes, it does gym uh, uh, shoes and clothes, and then I see one sleeve Collection. that looks like it would fit my Check laptop, it, and that's it. I don't really get why they do that, but they did. Yep. I'm the only one apparently that has this problem. No, you bet. Well, you're the only one who uses it. You need something that's durable for Shane, Shane's lifestyle. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right, that's right. Lifetime right. warranty, it does say lifetime warranty. Wait, what? <laughs> AR guarantees the quality and performance of the practical lifetime of our products. For evaluation, please contact us at support. or at however you say that name. Airs. Airs. I think they're we will in provide San with a warranty. <laughs> I think they're oh, out of San Francisco. Geez. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Designed in San Francisco. We warranty claim, necessary information on how to send your product back. I suppose if it was Frank, now I don't know you putting duct tape on it if, if that does anything to void it, but maybe when it first started Frank, you sent it back and they would have done whatever to it for free. I mean, I really hope duct tape doesn't void the warranty, but I highly doubt that. But I could certainly yeah. get in contact Well, I guess with you got that. nothing to lose by, you know, giving them a shout out. This is true. I guess I assumed it wasn't, uh, that it <laughs> wouldn't be a lifetime warranty, but yeah, I, I can uh, look into that for sure. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I do have another backpack in mind. Because <laughs> I think there's a well, and you might want something in the meantime if you send this one back. So you might end up. I don't think you have two, or if you have a, you know, like a loaner you can use if if you were to send this back. Because I'm sure it'll take a while. That's true. But I mean, there's some there's some options for you. Well, I mean, this one still works. 
And well, unless they do make yeah, if they make me send it back, that's one thing. I understand. Well, all right. I suppose that'll lead us. That will then lead us into. Yeah. XP boost. It's another XP update. 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 Get that horn, that or whatever people do. What that know, party what? horn or whatever it is. Party I don't even horn, know what it's an called. An air horn. Yeah. Wait, can like I just what the kids, the DJ people do, or whoever? I don't know. You're you're hip. You're cool, Shane. You know how to do it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just just ask me this. Okay. Fair warning. Uh, warning on the sound. Here it comes. It's gonna That's it. Yep. I don't know if there's a name for that or what. It's air horn. Well, it's a is it DJ. Just air horn. I mean, DJ. I if you do it, if DJ. You do it once, then people are like, "Oh, there it is." But if you if you do it multiple times in a row, then people are like, "Oh yeah, I know what that is." DJ air horn. D- there you go. Yeah. This is DJ one. air horn. Well, I mean, it's it's there an air go. horn. You can do the bumper if we do an update for that. There you go. <laughs> it should I, record that one. Just, yeah. DJ okay. air, air horn because all they're doing is they're turntabling it. I think. But. See, there you go. You're in the know. You know what's going on. Anyway, talking about another thing we've talked about prior, which is uh, wet bags. Wet, wet bags. That's so gross. It would have been smart if I actually brought one in here. Oh, I do have one. Okay, cool. Oh, there you go. Thank goodness. A new one? <laughs> it's new. <laughs> oh, that, that does look nice. I like the color. I didn't care for the color of the other ones. Because I'll it was it. yellow. Or wait, <laughs> the one I showed it, you was wasn't yellow. Wasn't it like powder blue or something? I mean, I, that was the old ones. Well, all right, so... The other ones I had, I uh, don't actually have them in front of me, but they were smaller and they they were blue and gray. There was a blue one. There was also a gray one kind of similar to this that those mm-hmm. came in. Oh, the gray was probably already there. Yeah. These are called Mom and Bab, and you may remember that part. That's the brand that you thought sounded weird, and, and, and it, but it, because it's printed on there, I showed you the yellow one of these, and you were like, eh, meh. I don't want Maybe, ma- but I don't know remember mom and bab. I don't want mom I, and bab on my bag. That's basically I feel like what I would have remembered bab. Well, I, I, sh- remember I showed you it. I wanted you to try them out, and you were like, meh. <laughs> no, I didn't like them because they didn't they didn't support my lifestyle habits. No. There, I said it. No, Tony. Wrong. I showed you these because they're bigger. I showed you the yellow yeah, but they one. they weren't big enough. You don't know that? Yeah, we tried it. Remember? We tried the old one. We tried all of them, not the new ones, because they're new. Exactly. I don't think we tried the exactly, ones. but you still poo pooed them because it had mom and bab written on the thing. No, I didn't care about mom and bab. Yeah, I don't you feel did. That's behind about it. If it worked, I would have taken it, but it didn't fit in my bag. I'm telling you, with we didn't test. With the sweatshirt, te- with te- the towel, we didn't with test all that fun stuff. We didn't test this one. <laughs> no, we didn't. That's but right. To say I wouldn't, I would dismiss something for mom and bab. That doesn't sound like me. Well, that's, that's what you did. I don't think so. That sounds stupid. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe there's still time for you to there try it. Maybe if this one's bigger and it's willing to try it all, I don't know. Could be. So these are 13 inches wide by 18 inches high. The other ones are probably half that ish, like cut in half. Honestly, if you took this, okay, it's hard to kind of see, but if you took this, if you took that and and maybe just down the center with it, is going to give you roughly. Don't quote me on that. On those dimensions, but holy crap, are people texting? Um, <laughs> so there's they, a chat room, isn't there? There is a chat room. There's multiple chat rooms. <laughs> I don't see any of them, so it's kind of fine. But um, yeah, so so the the previous the, these are similar to the previous ones that I have, which again I, I I'd have to dig up. But you know what? That's I guess those were in a previous one too. I don't wonder if I actually. Those were in a previous one. But I think you liked those, too. I don't know. I liked them at first, yeah. I still have them. Why? What What changed you on the, on those? Why well, didn't you like them? Well, there was a few thing, things, and maybe I'll get to that in a, in a moment. Oh, JL Childress was the brand of those. Which they, they always have names that make, them sit, make me think that they're for children. And in a way, they are because a lot of people use these for diapers or... Um, I heard uh, from a friend today that it was that they used them for um, a lot of uh, like breastfeeding things or something too. Oh, things, things that not dirty diapers or whatever. You can use it for all kinds of stuff, I guess. Just stuff that you don't want to have just out in the open. You want to put in a bag that contains it, right? More or less, contains yeah. smell too, right? 
Odor and smell, yep. And so let's just say, and part of the thing is, I don't think they had these. Okay, here we go. JL Childress, wet to go, portable, and these dimensions are written Odor somewhere. <laughs> Well, these say 14 by 11 by 14, which makes me think, yeah, so maybe not half, I, yeah, half isn't exactly accurate, but, but these are definitely, these are definitely bigger than what I originally had more at any rate. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like you said, keeps out <clears throat> moisture and odors. That was kind of the idea. Um, but I would say significantly larger, um, noticeably larger, at least maybe is the right term. Um, That's good. Which which is nice because I'm not forcing clothes into them. Not not that it was necessarily, I don't know, forcing is the right word. Sometimes I kind of felt like I was trying to force them in there to fit them in there. Certainly when we tried yours, like we were able to, I think, get a sweatshirt in there. It was just yeah, it was kind of jam packed, real tight when we were trying to get those in there. But mm -hmm. which is more the reason why to kind of try these out. One of the things I really like about this one is that the inner liner, which you can kind of see here is actually attached, if you can call it. Um, it it's, it's actually, it looks like it's coated um, with this waterproof material, whereas the previous wet bags had a separate bag as an inner liner that, um, there's multiple reasons why I didn't like that. First of all, it, I couldn't, and it, it even said right in the instruction not to put those in the dryer, um, cause the couple times that I accidentally did that or the first time I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, sure. it kind of melted that inner liner a little bit. And, and over time I found that those inner liners wore out fairly quickly. Whereas this, I have had zero issues putting in the dryer at all. And I have mm. not noticed any wear and tear on this inner liner at all. So I really like that. And I mean, the one small disadvantage of the bigger bag is maybe it's a little bit harder to fit into my backpack with a you know a bigger you know oh sure bigger bag in general makes it a little harder to stuff in there, but not not too bad I would say at all, especially because I'm I'm really putting the same amount of clothes in the bag, so it's only adding a slight amount of space into my backpack. But and so. Unlike the other bit, unlike those JL Childress bags, um, those had magnets on the inside. And that was another thing. So they had, it wasn't really a feature that I was using. Um, they had, they had like a magnet on each side of the bag that you could use to kind of close like this for whatever. It still had a zipper on it, but mm -hmm. I think it was actually more for when you, when you tucked it, it allowed <clears throat> you to kind of close it that way. The, the overlap, the overhang. Mm -hmm. But what I found with those, they were stitched in, and, and those would come loose, and those would fall into you know a separate part of the uh, inside of the bag anyway. And they were kind of the one thing I ended up using it for was hanging it up up on the locker, um, like I could magnetically attach it. But oh, that's nice. that sounds convenient. Instead, with these, they've got well, first off, they've got these little um, clips, uh, snaps, I should say, which I don't I don't ever use, but you can snap the handles together like. Some of them come with two handles. Some of them come with one. And I don't really understand mm. how the snaps work if there's not two. Maybe I got some faulty bags that only came with one handle. But either way, I'm not using... The only thing I'm using these handles for is the very reason I was using the magnets, which is to hang this up on the locker anyway. I just mm. hang it on the inside of the uh, of the locker, the, the handle, uh, whatever you call it, the lock, right? The inside of the lock allows me to hang it on. So then I can put my clothes in it anyway. And that works out really well. Um, but at any rate, the when I first had these, I thought it kind of seemed like the moisture was, was coming through just a little bit more than the previous bags because you get like, even if you feel just a tiny bit, if you've, and I'm talking about if your clothes are sopping wet and you put them in here, maybe you'd get a tiny bit of moisture. And I felt like at first that these weren't holding in the moisture quite as well as the previous bags, but all in all, in the long run, these have held up so much better than the JL Childress ones in general. Like they're still, they're still just as good as day one since I've had them. And that's been 
several, several months now. Uh, in fact, yeah, it's been, a, it's been quite a while. Let's see. When did I get these? If I can real quick bring that <coughs> up as well. That was back in November. Mm. Yeah, November is when I got these. So they've been holding up since then quite well. And, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's really about it. I mean, they do the job, and, and I guess we can report back at some point whether or not, you know, how they, if, if Tony wants to try, if you want to try again. Now, I, c I will admit that maybe I'm wrong here, and maybe we did try these for you. Uh, not the new ones. Right, no. I didn't think so. Um, but wait a minute, what's on the tag of the new ones? Mom and Bab. Ooh, I don't know about those. <laughs> <laughs> So, Maybe the mom, but Bab. I mean, what are they? What What are they trying to do here? Now, here's part of the problem. Here's <laughs> part of the issue, and I question whether or not I should have even gone through this with this one. But they, so they were twelve ninety nine on Amazon, uh, okay. or thirteen, right? On Amazon through Mom and Bab, uh, currently unavailable, apparently, <laughs> which either means that they are not selling them anymore, period, or that they are just restocking them, which I hope is the case. Do you know if there's a website? I mean, we could maybe see what the direct website according is. According to Amazon, we don't know when or if this option, this item will be back in stock, which is very helpful, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, there are many other wet bag options out there on Amazon you can check out. If I mean, if you just go to these and then go to the you know suggested uh, sponsored items or whatever at the bottom... <laughs> There is a mom and bab inc dot com. Oh, is there? Yeah. Although they do have an Amazon link, so that might not help <laughs> anyone. <laughs> well, let's see here. All right, so let's. They go got diapers. Oh, this is really this is yep. But that's really okay. geared toward kids. Yeah. They got the sure. diapers with the little. Is that a pocket on the fanny? That's nice. That's, okay. or maybe it's a lion or a. a uh, was dragon. Uh, it's fun. That's sure. weird. They do still have buy from Amazon for the wet bags right on the f home page. Mm -hmm. Oh, these wet bags look kind of nice. There's some black and white ones here. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Oh. That's weird that they're all currently unavailable. I'm glad I got as many as I did when I did. There's also mm -hmm. Amazon.ca. Okay, well, here we go. You can currently get them from Amazon.ca that... What is that? Canada, I suppose, right? Yeah, I think it's Canada. All right. Well, they're from Canada, apparently. So go there. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah if you if you can, can get it from Canada, then I say go for it. I think Some so. of these bags look kind of nice, though. I don't know. Um, I wish they... I don't know if their site is weird, but sure. Right. There you go. All right. Well, Canada. Uh, if you can convert that, it says twenty one ninety nine Canadian, uh, as Scott Johnson likes to say, space money. But, oh, yes. Space <laughs> say twenty one. All right, let's just do some quick conversion. Twenty one ninety nine uh, Canadian. I don't know what they're even called. Canadian dollars in U.S. Do I don't know if they're dollars. What are they called? I should know this, but so that converts to sixteen forty three U.S. dollars. So that's kind of pricey, but uh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm sure they'll get restocked in the U.S. Then, right? <laughs> It seems like it. I, um, I mean, I don't know why not. I don't see any reason why not, but yeah. Maybe just they just got that popular. I, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Can you put it as like a, I don't know how Amazon works to the point of, can you set up alerts? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I am not aware I of I think that. you can in your shopping cart or saved items list or whatever, and then it'll bark at you if prices go down. But maybe if stuff gets restocked, I don't know. But if you feel like looking into that, Go for it and let us know. Yeah, let us know. Indeed, indeed. So yeah, I give that a four, four and three quarters out of five stars. In four fact, I'm almost tempted to say five out of five. In fact, you know what? I'm changing it. Whoa. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. I'm changing it to five out of five. Unprecedented. First time ever. <laughs> Change the rating. There we go. Five out of five. Perfect really? product as far as I'm concerned because it's just... Really, I, I basically don't have any gripes because... Not yet, anyway. Even though I mentioned maybe a couple of minor cons in there. Like, Not enough really cons it, to make it a 4.7. <laughs> whatever it was. Four that's right. Three fours I'm whatever. upping it. I'm, I'm giving it that. I'm doing it. I'm did it. Do it's it. already done. 
done. A year from now, he'll change it. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. You know, we did have a... I don't have much in the way of feedback. I know um, Shauna wrote in again and, and had mentioned something about uh, suggesting to do toothbrushes for a future, um, I believe, XP boost is what she was referring to. I, per- I currently have boring toothbrushes. <laughs> How many do you have? Uh, well, you know what? I, I'll say that I had, I have some of those charcoal ones for some reason. I got uh, suckered into buying some of those at some point. And uh, I don't know if those right. I feel like the charcoal toothpaste did more than anything. I've had, and I've, I might even still have a Sonicare that I just don't use because like, I kind of felt like it was actually wearing out my gums. <laughs> I'm sure that was all in my head. But what, what do you use, out of curiosity? I have a Sonic. Um, I think it's Earth Phillips or whatever it is. Uh, I don't use it anymore. I use a regular toothbrush that I think I got from the dentist. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just because it's kind of bulky, it's big, and I always forget to charge it, and I kind of don't like that. Um, right. I did, I didn't do this, but I did look at the Quip. I don't know if you guys, if you, uh, if you've seen that, that's kind of the sort of subscription based or whatever. But people say it's okay. They don't really like, you know, drive home about it. So right now, I'm just using the basic, you know, hand, no electricity toothbrush. Yeah, same. Which sucks. And I'm like, just fine with it. I don't really care. Yeah, I. Uh... Unfortunately, that that's kind of our our experience with. <laughs> like we don't have great experiences with with toothbrushes, apparently. Yeah. When I first used the Sonicare again, the whatever I got, uh, I thought it was great. I'm like, oh man, this really works. I do feel it. My mouth actually felt cleaner. But then over time, I'm like, oh, maybe I'm just used to it doing its job. But now I'm just like, eh, I feel like toothbrush. I do a pretty good job, you know, just manually myself. I guess maybe that's part yeah. of. It. I think that's probably part and, of it and too. I kind of feel like I'm the extra vibration isn't I don't know like I almost feel like I can do a better job in a way yeah because like, I know my t- I know my people. mouth <laughs> yeah something that's like right. that there's no robots getting in your mouth Shane I know other people swear by the Sonicare and everything I, it's, yeah. it's has, fine it does a good job I suppose I don't know right but then there's some like I don't know I check out Wirecutter from time to time and there's some other sites on there for reviews and they I think there's there's a decently priced one, like less than hundred bucks that says it claims to be better than some of these ones that are over a hundred, hundred and twenty, hundred and fifty or whatever. Sure, but, sure. You know, do your research, see what you like, and uh, when all else fails, just use the one you get for free from the dentist. I don't <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. Well if you'd like to write into us, our email address is techiespodcast at gmail dot com. Uh, you can find us on social media at Techies Podcast, recording Sundays at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I should probably put the p.m. in here. What do you think? Well, I guess it's not going to help us here. But our website is niceguynetwork.com slash techies. If you wouldn't mind, we would appreciate it if you leave us a rating on iTunes. And you can find a link on our website, or you can type in Techies Podcast on iTunes. Find us there. Tony, he is at Why Not Big T. Still, yep. Didn't I throw am that at, away yet. What's that? So I didn't throw that away yet. Yeah. I am at Shave Maddox, <laughs> and I have not thrown that away either. You don't throw but, anything away. Oh, zing! Yeah. <laughs> Walked right into that one. It's all right. Well, thanks, Tony. Thanks, thank everyone, you, for Shane. listening. Thanks for writing in again, Sean. And, yeah, thank you, everyone, for listening. And until next time... Tech or easy. Hang up and try again. Good game. Too late, Tony. Too late. I never know if you want it, so I always pause. I like it once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> in there. I like to have it in there once in a while. Good. 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 <laughs> so apparently I was on the, 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 the chat and the chat in the form of te- text messaging. So yeah, that's fine. I see that. <laughs> and we're still um, we're still on the live end of uh, the video. That's okay. I feel like did I have anyone, to say that every time. Did anyone throw anything in any of the chats? 
Uh, early they did. <clears throat> early on, but not now. Not <clears throat> now. Yeah. I kind of like that interaction. That's nice. I don't know. I'm sure, you know, if anybody looks back at the video, they're going to see my head looking down the whole time. Head looking down? Looking at my, my phone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, I should. Uh, how or many my messages? Watch or oh, whatever. oh no! Only sixty-three text messages. <laughs> what? Only? <laughs> I mean, what in the crap? <laughs> There's a lot of nonsense going on, and I'm sure Matt can give you the TLDR if you want. Or Dave. I think they're the only ones. I don't know. Holy crap! This is what happens when you quit Facebook, I guess. Apparently. I don't know what it was. He, where was Matt watching this on? Like YouTube? I don't know. Probably. Twitch, I'm sure. Twitch, probably. Or YouTube, but I'm sure, I'm assuming Twitch. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't know if I'll... I should, I'll, I'll try to uh, assess these uh, uh-huh. in a moment, I guess. I'll take a look. See what's going on here in the messages. But, uh Yeah. Right on. You playing any games, Tony? Well, none that I suppose you guys are. You well, probably that, guys will play the true. Switch just fine. That's true. I suppose it'd be Hearthstone or Heroes or... Heroes. I've really been into, just because it's one and done, uh, uh, Overwatch. I've sort of been into that when I was taking breaks from studying. So, I don't know. I'm probably pretty good at that now. Yeah, and I got people for uh, TMS being like, because I joined that team, they're like, hey, you want to get in some practices before? I'm like, I did. Oh, like, crap. Uh, I didn't say anything yet. <laughs> How do people know your information? Because uh, Brian sent it out. Oh, all right. That's too bad. But hopefully you can get, I don't know how it'll, your setup will be. Or I can just break down and buy a and Windows what? license. And get what? A Windows license. No way. No way. Well, you could. I don't know. How much storage do you have left? Do you have enough to throw a Windows I want on there? I got 300 and some odd gigs left. I mean, I, what's a what's a Windows license? Like 120 bucks? Oh, I was really only hoping 100. <laughs> You're, oh, are they? You probably just get Windows Home, right? You probably wouldn't need to go all... I mean, that's up to you. Yeah, that's true. I um, am. I've been I've been more stubborn about this than Matt was about getting a Switch or well let's say an Apple Watch because well Matt's still stubborn about getting an Apple Watch right but I don't I don't know sometimes he's surprised I didn't know we got a Switch that's nah. nice that was surprising I'm sure he can hear us right now right are we still live yeah good old one and done I don't know what he's talking about now how to get I don't know Windows 10 product key. Yeah, free. Never mind. I don't know. You probably have to go. To, you can probably Amazon it. So, is there any possibility you might get a switch again? <laughs> Maybe, but not anytime soon. Now that uh, you got that cert and everything, though, I do. But I still have to do the stupid impatient one. Mm. One point twenty-one gigabytes. Part Gig- of me thinks I might man. check out. Skyrim for the PC. <laughs> for the PC. <laughs> oh, gotcha. All right, I'm seeing a PC download. Um, PC uh, load letter. $125 for Windows 10 Home. 125 Yeah. See, and I gave up that my previous license for a reason. You had one? Well, I had it on my desktop, my tower, oh, which I ended was. up giving to Evan. But Oh, that's, oh, yeah, you did. Wait, there's 108 108 I don't know. Oh, there you go. It's OEM, right? Uh, USB. USB, really? Yeah, English, USB, that's what it says here. Oh. Um, 15 left in stock. Oh, it looks like it's retail, so I don't know. What OEM would probably be you'd make your own USB key, which you could probably do fine. I don't know. Yeah, but I guess I'm avoiding OEM because I never quite understood the actual... Legality. You can't put it on more than one computer, I guess, or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but I thought it was confusing. But I thought cause... that was the same way. I guess I never... Really thought, look at that. DVD-ROM, uh, 94. I heard at one point they were TV ROM. I mean, I do have that a DVD disc. thing. I I can put it in that. They uh, got um another OEM eighty nine 
I'm just looking on Amazon. Two day shipping. Get it it's Tuesday, April 9th. I uh, I think I'd like the USB one maybe. Yeah, I know. Of course, you could turn all these into a USB stick. But you need a USB. Well, you have a. I'm just thinking you don't, but you probably you have you have hubs, I suppose. Hubs. Yeah, I do hubs have. because you. I don't know. Do they have, do they make USB thumb drives that are USB C? I suppose they probably do. That's right? a good question. They'd be wicked small. I mean, maybe not. Maybe they wouldn't. They're still they're still crank, cranking away at this. Uh, they are. What is it? One point twenty one gigabyte. Oh, that. Gigabyte. I was talking about yeah. the, the sarcophagus <laughs> stuff. They're that still doing more with sar- <laughs> sarcophagi. All right, raise your hand if you're absolutely riveted right now. I think I see a lot of hands up out there. And when we come back, our team of archaeologists continue working to open the sarcophagus and reveal live what's inside. Oh, it didn't already? First look at a mummy that's over 2,500 years old. So they didn't yet? Keep tweeting us. Use the hashtag Egypt Live. (laughs) Okay, so they haven't even opened the actual one yet. I don't know what that other one was. Gigabytes. Gigabytes. I'm actually, I'm actually letting this tally go up because it's rising. I know. I think I'm adding to it. I also think the more I stay alive, the more that's going to continue. <laughs> it is. It's true. But I hate to say it. I should probably get going right now. I know case making stuff. So no, I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, not for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> for the text that's messages. <laughs> oh no, that's fine. You can try to keep it going. Whatever the texting, but you might have to participate other than verbally. Uh, all right. I know, but uh, that's fun. Good stuff. Uh, let me know if you get Windows 10. I know it's sort <laughs> of anti whatever, but it's fine. See what the requirements are if you actually plan on doing it, so you don't buy something you can't return for a boot yeah. camp. Yeah, true. Just to be on the safe side. If I get, I don't. I'm not I even think saying, it would be the same. I'm not even saying I'm getting it, but I know it's 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 a little too much. So I understand if you don't, but you've done stuff like that before. All right, sounds good. good. Cool beans. We'll catch you later. Yep. See you guys. Feel Bye. free to keep texting. <laughs> we'll talk to you later, Shane. Bye. Bye. Bye.